everyone and welcome to Keeping Up with Linda. It's a gorgeous June morning, the birds are singing, the sun is out and warming up just my kind of weather to do some spring cleaning outside. I'm gonna show you how I clean my blinds. Uh, I don't know about you but for me they're just so hard to clean because they're so thin and they get damaged so easily. They collect so much dust and I have so many of them uh, so I decided to clean them outside. So I try to do it once a year and it's normally around this time. It hasn't been that warm lately and today seems to be just perfect to do that kind of job. You need this kind of weather. It needs to be warm so you wash them, they dry up fast, you put them back and so on. So I'm going to show you how I clean my blinds just the easiest way and it works. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so and help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much. We don't need the exact measurements as long as we can hook up the blinds. It doesn't really matter. It also depends on your blinds, how wide they are. That'll do. That'll be my drying station. So something very important when taking your blinds out, make sure you close them first. That prevents them from warping, right? So you don't want to damage them. So put them straight. So, and then close them all the way. This part here, it's also a very flimsy thing that we need to remove before removing the actual blind. And it's out. And then you just slide it out, that's it. Now something we want to remove is this thing as well. We don't want to break it. We have our first blind, so let's see. Okay, so let's put it in place. Beautiful. And now let's open it. The dust that these things collect in a year is just crazy. It's amazing, like you can't even tell until you actually see it like that. Ugh. Yeah, so how do you clean these things like one by one? It's just impossible. So I'm going to put them a little bit on an angle towards me, just so when I put the Fantastic, it kind of drops down all the dirt. Because you see on the other side, there's not so much. It's not so bad, but uh, like the worst part is always the part that's facing up. Just apply Fantastic all over it. And you leave it there for a few minutes, about five. And then it's rinsing time. And you can see already, it's already working. It's already gathering all the dirt together. Let me see that. Ha ha. So depending on how many uh, blinds you have, how many windows you have, you're probably going to need a few of these. I bought like three, <laughs> but it's definitely worth it because if you're going to do this by hand, like one by one, it's hours of work, hours, endless. Good. So we we'll leave it here, like I said, for about five minutes. In the meantime, I'll get another one. The other thing is I need to keep them in order so I know exactly where they go after. Your blinds need to be against something just in case if you happen to open the water too much, if there's too much force on the water and then your blind doesn't have any support behind it, it's going to damage the blinds. It's going to warp and uh, you know, you don't want that. You want to keep them as straight as possible. All right, so it's rinsing time and just like this, with a very, very soft mist, you just rinse it. I don't know if you can see it, but all the dirt is coming down. Make sure you go everywhere. 
Give you water. Ever since I started doing this, it's just amazing. And then when I put this back, it, everything feels fresh. And I'm so grateful for today because today is just a gorgeous day and I happen to have the day off. So it's, it, it just worked out beautifully. So remember, just the mist. You may have to go over it a couple of times, but that's what it is. You don't want to damage your blinds. So after a good rinse, turn them up a little and just rinse them on the other side as well a little bit, just in case if there's any residue, any dust. And again, not too strong. Okay, you can see something there. Beautiful. Bring it back to us, facing us. Let's see here. And let's take a look. Okay, I can still see something there. Ah, right there. Right? So, a little bit more mist. Not so closed. All right, like that. What happens with these blinds is if they happen to touch each other, they'll like glue on each other. And then, you know, you have to separate them. So that's why you need to be gentle with the, the water. It really needs to be just a mist, because if it's too strong, it'll do that. So this will be my last rinse. I just need to be thorough. And then it'll go into the drying station and I'll go to the next one. And because it's so warm, it actually feels good to play with water. We're about done. Very nice. The June berries are coming along. I can see a few red ones already up there. Ah, all right. The birds are happy about it. So off to the drying station. Just like that. So about 10-15 minutes and it'll be ready to go back inside. So next. Hold it and open it. All the way. You need to be generous with your cleaner. It it really pays off. It, it, it it's really fantastic actually. It really works and you won't regret it at all. I'm sure another cleaner would work just as fine. I just happen to use Fantastic and that's what I used the first time. And I was really impressed on how, it, uh, how easy it was. So I just stick to it because it works for me. While that dries and this soaks, it's time to clean some windows inside. Do you guys have jumping spiders? Because I do. So this window is now ready to receive its beautiful clean blind. Now these pieces are easily cleaned inside. I don't have to take them outside. This one seems to be getting there, not totally dry yet. So we tilt a little, a little and give it a good shake. Let's give it a few more minutes and then let's put it back. Now remember to bring them back, do not close them. Because like I said, there's still, there might be still some water and once you close it, then they latch on each other and they don't let go. So bringing them back, always bring it open and put it on the window open as it is.
Perfect. If there's a little bit of water on the uh, on the blinds, a little bit is not a big deal, but too much would be a big deal because you could damage the uh, the windowsill if it's wood. Whew, one, done. Look at this, so clean, no dust anymore. Beautiful, just beautiful. Now it's time to get another one. That's a big one. So I want to show you something guys, because I took a little while taking the other ones down and uh, cleaning the window and such, this one that was uh, soaking up is now dry and don't go ahead and rinse it because it doesn't work as good. So just use a little bit more of your uh, all-purpose cleaner, just you know get everything wet again and then rinse. Uh, it'll work better because um, I know from experience that it won't work as good. If, you, if I was just to go ahead and rinse now while it's dry, mm -mm, it's not a good idea. So just quickly, a little bit more. <laughs> Perfect. This is fun. For this little guy here, which is the blind from my front door, I needed to add another nail right there because it's a shorter one. And then if it's in my way, I just take it out. I didn't put it in too deep. And now, because it's so small, so tiny, I need to mist it ever so gently. Et voila, it's done. So since I'm pretty much done here, uh, it's time for a nice cup of coffee and a darts game. So this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you find it interesting and useful i hope i gave you some ideas some tips if you do have a backyard that you can use i know that for me it is the best way to clean my blinds so please watch share like and please please subscribe as i am trying to reach a milestone of a thousand subscribers so your help would be really really appreciated thank you so much for watching once again and don't forget to keep up with linda ciao